Hey guys, so I just thought I'd give you kind of a look and a voiceover as to how I thought our first show of Sterling and I's winter series went. So we start off in, with training level test two, and we ended up in third place actually with this score. So we come trotting down, he walks into the halt, and sticks his head up, but you know, he halted, so that was that was the big thing to get over. And we go off again and he was a bit looky at the car. He didn't really like it, but, you know, sucks to suck. Um, so we're going along. He's a bit tense in his neck. Ideally, I'd like him to reach out a bit more, but we're maintaining a steady tempo. He's going well. He's not really freaking out. So already we're starting off much better than we did at the RP. Um, so I come down here. It's going really well. I This test gave me such an amazing feeling. He was really workmanlike during it, which was really nice to have. <laughs> um, he still throws his head up a bit in the corners. Um, I just need to prepare him a bit more for that. We come down the diagonal. Pretty good. Um, pretty consistent. And then, looking at the car, but then this track counter transition was absolutely beautiful like that we've been working really hard on that the past few days and it really showed off in warm-up and in our tests like he used to throw his head up and like run into the canner and that was probably the best like truck counter transition we've ever had in a test of course we've only done like three but <laughs> still I was super proud and it came back wonderfully um and then we're preparing for our walk nope we're doing our stretchy, stretchy trot circle, um, which was pretty good. It wasn't too consistent and kind of curled under his neck a bit, but he was trying to stretch, um, which is big. He's relaxed, so that's nice. And now, we, it's so funny. He kept anticipating when we were going to walk at F, so it wasn't exactly the best walk transition, but it was funny him anticipating and he was doing this throughout both of the tests and before it used to be he would just do whatever he wanted to do and when I asked him for something it was like yeah no so the fact that he was like oh I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it was really nice to have I had to kind of laugh now this is our free walk and he wasn't really relaxed so he wasn't really stretching he was inconsistent we didn't really score that well on it I think the judge gave us a five and a half which is fair um, but he waited for our trot transition and was spot on, um, really proud of him there. He stayed listening, uh, and waiting and didn't do like a little jig into the trot like he used to. So I was very, very happy throughout this entire test. Our trot circle here was, I made it a bit big and on one side and so I had to make it big on the other so it was just it was overall a little big but he was staying in a wonderful frame as he throws his head a bit but um, overall his contact with a bit has really improved um, even though his neck's a bit tense he's staying with me which is huge we go across our diagonal um, lengthen just a bit just to show we can um get him a bit more relaxed we have our rightly canner which is sometimes pretty hard for him to get in canner transition but that was beautiful he threw a setup a little afterwards but in general it was really nice so we're doing our canner circle he's staying round he has a beautiful tempo going on i just i mean is a gorgeous canner. I love sitting on it. Um, we come back down really nice. I think we got a seven and a half for that. Throws up his head once again in those corners. He just needs to learn to stay on the outside rein in those corners, but we'll work on that. And then we come down for a halt and he stays halted. <laughs> and yeah, he was overall just amazing for that. And now we come down the center line in our training three test. Um, not as good. Weirdly, he was more tense for this one after 
and you can see the halt, he backed, and we didn't exactly make it to X, he swung his hindquarters out a bit, he was just overall a little like, okay, I'm done, um, but he's still willing, like, he's still giving me a decent feeling, so I was happy to just, A, be able to halt, and B, he didn't try and take off afterwards, so we're still doing fine. <laughs> Um, and then we come to our Serpentine, which I didn't ride it the best. I could have, I should have gone all the way out to the rail, but it's so tight in a small arena that I was just trying to make it to the, what is that, B? Yeah, trying to make it to B just to show we can do three loops. And he stayed really bent and round um, throughout these loops, even though it was tight turns, so I was really proud of him. Then we go into our canner. Tosses his head a bit, but it was still really smooth for his right lead canter transition, so I was really happy. Um, and he was staying in a really nice tempo. The one thing that the judge like consistently commented on was that he needed more reach in his stride, and more ground cover, which I agree with, but also he's a little tense, and compared to how he's been, like I'm fine with this, so you know what, whatever. Um, our trot transition was really good. Walk was a bit meh, and then he wasn't exactly relaxed, but in the medium walk, so he was a little jiggy. But you can't see from this angle, but he did give me a really nice uh, free walk, which I was really happy about. Um, then we come back, and he's just a little tense, so he tries to trot there, and he's just once again just anticipating, and he knows, okay, see, I can trot. Which, like I said, I'm completely fine with. Um, <laughs> I much prefer that to just outright refusal. This Serpentine wasn't as great. I think we scored a 7, and we scored a 7.5 on the other one. Um, once again, I just need to go all the way out to the rail. I was just kind of skipping past them. Um, but he was staying fine. And then this is where I just had a brain fart. And, like, coming to A, I was like, oh, wait. Is the canter transition at A or between A and F? And so I freaked out and like tried to do it at A just in case. And so I rushed and didn't prepare him. And so he struck off into his right lead because anytime I don't prepare him, he goes into the other lead. And then he was really mad that I like corrected him and like made him go on the correct left lead. So then he was tossing his head and then just didn't really, wasn't really happy with me. Which is fine, I understand, I didn't prepare him. And so that trot transition, he stuck his head up, and he was just overall a bit fussy after that. Um, but then we come to our, to our stretchy trot, and he relaxed a bit. He's a bit curling under his neck, a bit more than I would like. Um, but he's still reaching down. He gave a good sigh um, halfway through it, so I knew he was like still relaxed and still willing. He was just mad at me, which, like I said, completely fine. It was my fault. Um, and then we turn down center line, which he did much better about in this test. He stayed nice and connected. And we come to our halt in the walk, much closer to F or <laughs> Etz, and generally halted fine. Um, he was a bit done by this point, but... Overall, I think it went really well, and I'm really proud of him. And I'm excited to see how the Nets shows go and whether or not we might move up to first level. Who knows?